Hello iPoker VIP.net watchers, this is Dan Duggleby, also known as Reverie from the 2 plus 2 forums, and I'm going to be doing a quick user review of Unibet Poker. Unibet is a big European sports book on the micro gaming network, and along with Lab Books, it's probably responsible for bringing in most of the recreational players on the network. Uh, if we take a look at Poker Scout, it's got micro gaming at number 8 in the list. Um, in terms of player traffic, you can expect about 2,000 cash game players playing there and 3,000 at peak times. Uh, we're going to do a separate video about the micro gaming network and go into a bit more detail about, about the benefits of playing on the network as a whole then. Um, so a good way to compare the poker software is to use a benchmark. In this case we'll use PokerStars as it's generally considered to be the sort of golden standard as far as poker software goes. So I've got the PokerStars client open with one table and also got the Unibet client open with one table and on the task manager here you can see PokerStars down the list, uh, Microgaming up at the top. U using the, the, the Unibet client is using a considerable amount more memory to run and to be honest this is completely standard for for software clients they in general most of them are playing catch up with with stars um, they they just don't seem to to run quite as efficiently which can can be a problem sometimes for multi tablers um, of course the main reason we don't play on poker stars if we choose not to play there is because there are often much softer games elsewhere with better incentive schemes for example at iPoker VIP um, it's, um, it, it sometimes just makes sense to go where the money is as a poker player and after all that's the name of the game so um, having said that about the software it, it does have some distinct advantages uh, the main one for me is the 60 second time bank having 60 seconds to make a, a decision when you're facing a, a difficult river decision your your opponent goes all in you need to work out what the hell he's doing with his range having that 60 seconds is awesome and it, it really can make a difference to your bottom line so uh, top of my list for positives for this site is is having that extra time when as and when you need it and you'll find most people don't take the mick and, and take too long uh, that there, there definitely aren't the same amount of mass multi tablers on this network as you'll find on poker stars and to a lesser extent full tilt um, the software apart from the 60 second time bank it does have some other things going for it in terms of customization if we look at the options menu here. Uh, you've got you've got some nice options. You can, you've got the four color deck, which I've already got switched on. Uh, more interestingly, you've got customization options for the bet slider. You can enable the mouse scroll wheel to increase and decrease the size of the bet. You can also save profiles for the bet slider in terms of um, selecting amounts of the pot to bet. Let me try and explain. If I click create a new profile here, you'll see that there's there's some options here. Uh, underneath the preflop slider, you've got some options to set three uh, buttons to your own personal preference. Uh, these are multiples of the big blind, so you can set a three times big blind standard open button there, and you might have five times big blind as a standard isolate a limper button uh, post flop you can set buttons for a fraction of the pot again you've got three choices there uh, that that sort of customization is 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 a plus for this this site it it's one of those things that once you're set up and ready to go it just makes multi tabling that bit easier and it's the it's a reason that You'll, you'll be able to play here and get a good amount of hands in and you know chase chase a good amount of hands for the month and it's something that some other sites some of the networks are missing definite positive um, 
one interesting thing I found at Unibet is is something I didn't experience. I haven't played here for a short while, and whilst I've been away, there they have introduced anonymous tables. Uh, you can see here. I mean, at the at the micro stakes levels, they're really popular. If you look at at the sort of here the the forty dollar buy-in level, there's a lot more anonymous tables than there are standard tables. And under the 50 euro level, and as you move up, progressively there are, are, are less and less anonymous tables. So it gives you the impression that that this is something marketed at the fish, marketed at the recreational players. And indeed, if you click on it, you get a little blurb on the side here, and it says anonymous tables avoid being targeted by the sharks. Your alias and avatar are only visible to you. Other players' details will be hidden. Tracking software free zone. This is this is a scheme designed to get recreational players feeling comfortable about splashing money around, uh, and I think that's that can only be a good thing for the sort of ecology of of the of the poker room, if if that makes sense. Um, I mean, some people will not like the fact that you can't make you can't save your reads on players. Uh, you don't have, you can't use your poker tracker or holder manager hood, uh, your heads up display to to get an impression of what's going on. You, you have to pay a bit more attention. But to be honest, if that means that you can s regularly sit in games where 50% of the players are seeing a flop, that, that can only be a good thing. I mean, you saw there at the 50 euro buy-in level, there's a lot of loose games and even going up to a, a hundred euro buy-in if these numbers are anything to go by there's still plenty of loose games and um, so if I were to bring my bankroll back here in the near future which I may well do I'll probably be licking my chops at the prospect of getting getting some money into these games and and uh, exploiting a few of these players um, so yeah definitely definitely a good innovation there by Unibet and Microgaming. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about was was software tools. Uh, I used to use auto hotkey scripts to make multi-tabling easier. Uh, the software has improved to the point where that's not really necessary anymore. Uh, I still recommend checking out the 2 plus 2 software forum. Uh, as far as I'm aware there are still some working scripts there for those of you who like to play loads of tables. Um, just scripts so that you can press the the action buttons without using your mouse. Um, if you if you are filling your screen with tables and you're really trying to trying to push the amount of hands you can play, you'll want to seek those out. Um, and there are also some card and table mods, and we all like to customize things when we're staring at uh, the same stuff all day. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Um, I think that concludes our brief look at Unibet and I'll just say until next time, take care and good luck at the tables.